What we have to remember about the United States and its relationship with Israel is, I mean, especially now at this time, I think it's important to note that there was trouble in paradise in terms of the recent mobilizations against Benjamin Netanyahu, even to the point that you had uh, Netanyahu's son come out and claim the American State Department is behind these protests. Now, I mean, you know, obviously he's a complete idiot, but there are ways in which he's not completely wrong. So one of the main organizations that was mobilizing against Netanyahu was the Movement for Quality Government in Israel, which has actually been funded directly by the US State Department for the last three years. Even Ben Gavir came out and said that uh, the US needs to understand that Israel is no longer a star on the US flag. And what you saw really at the same time was the intelligence and military establishment also coming out strongly against Netanyahu. You saw um, David Bernay, the head of Mossad, giving Mossad employees supposedly the permission to attend protests as long as they didn't reveal who they mm -hmm. were and who they worked for. So uh, that's quite interesting. You know, there were also the CIA leaks um, about six months ago or so in which um, signals intelligence basically the US spying on Mossad led them to the conclusion that Israel's external intelligence agency was encouraging demonstrations against Netanyahu. Right. Now, the interesting thing to remember is with what's happened now, you have had this new unity war government formed uh, with Benny Gantz and Netanyahu. So there's ways in which that military and intelligence establishment that wanted him gone um, has got what they want. So that's led to Smotrich and uh, uh, Ben Gavir being slightly more sidelined uh, than they were uh, before in, in terms of that arrangement of government. So I think that's an interesting um, context to, to what is happening now. 